At any university, there are major inflection points. The internet was a, was, a, was a major one. I think this one is going to be revolutionary. OpenAI is investing $50 million to give universities free access to cutting edge AI. We are providing free AI tools and funding for research and compute across disciplines. My name is Richard Ovenden. I'm Bodley's librarian here at the University of Oxford. So what we're focusing on in our collaboration in this pilot with OpenAI is collections in the Bodleian that we've had for centuries that not only are not available online, but they've never even been catalogued. To all intents and purposes, they're invisible, and we want to make them visible again. I'm Katherine Brownstein. I am a geneticist here at Boston Children's Hospital and an assistant professor at Harvard Medical School. It takes on average seven years to get diagnosed for a patient with a rare and orphan disease. I want to democratize access and streamline the diagnostic odyssey. My name is Peter Moeller. I'm the Executive Vice President for Research, Innovation and Knowledge here at Ohio State University. What this partnership will allow us to do is to bring AI to the masses, to bring AI to all of our researchers, whether they're working in agriculture or engineering or the next generation of space exploration. I'm Dr. Benjamin Talton. I'm the director of the Moreland Spin Gun Research Center at Howard University and professor of history. The business of universities is planning for the future. You can't plan unless you know the tools that you have at your disposal. Students will have access to it. Faculty and staff will have access to it. So we'll see how will students learn with it. How will professors teach with it? And how will administrators streamline our, our services? Using OpenAI, we're cutting down on the diagnostic odyssey time for patients. We're cutting down on clinician frustration. We're cutting down on healthcare costs. So when you look at the, the big problems facing our society today, whether we think about energy constraints, whether we think about healthcare, whether we think about agriculture, our employers are looking for students in a workforce that's incredibly well trained in this space. And so to be able to work with OpenAI to create AI fluency for students at scale is really profound these days. And what we need to do, I think, at this moment in human history is to share that knowledge as broadly as we can to encourage people to engage with those problems and hopefully to find solutions to those pressing problems that face humanity.